The boys have really made me welcome in, in the environment and especially living with uh, two of the other boys with Anton and Damien. It's been pretty good with them, especially with them playing Chiefs and their knowledge and experience so from last year and this year. So they've helped me a long way so far and uh, we have quite a few laughs around the dinner table and cooking has risen from uh, the start of the year when I didn't really know what to cook and from burnt rice to cooking proper rice and that's been pretty good. <laughs> I hope my other flat mates would say the same thing. Uh, you come up with a sharp yeah. knife. He's a young player, so yeah, he's got a bit to learn. Pretty competitive flat as well with the table tennis and the PlayStation, so it does get pretty heated sometimes, but all in well, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been pretty good. Oh, that is so tough. Coming down here has probably been the best move for me, and I'm enjoying my footy, and I-Team Cut's been a, been a big learning curve so far. This is a massive week for us in terms of the competition scope, in terms of where we want to be, and also a massive test of us as, as a team. Sean Bothway, he's, he's a good man. Good to talk to and offers you a lot, so i enjoyed his coaching so far. It's been a real help with uh, how been playing lately. More time to invest in your preparation. Yeah, Sean's fitted in really well. Obviously, he's a young man that's, um, I guess, been fast-tracked into a professional environment. Sometimes that's not easy for these young men, so I think he's done a really good job. I really like the way that he, um, he engages in, in the session and he's, and he's quite willing and prepared to question and certainly clarify when, he's, when he needs more understanding. Another chance, let's lift the level, make it count. When you're in a professional environment, you have to do your job and as a fullback, you have to have a high work rate of getting around the field and um, being fit to actually kick the ball and make good decisions. So that's probably been the biggest learning for me is just my work rate has to be a lot higher. So. We've got to go, we'll zoom, cruise, and then go again. You know, along with the Chiefs, we've had to fast track his physical development, and he's still got some way to go there, but uh, along with that, we've just got to make sure that we uh, keep the support networks beside him, make sure he's got strong support off the field, and Judy has a great job there, and boys have got a great opportunity today to, to listen to Shane Cameron and talk about some of uh, his challenges, and hopefully he's got a few lessons for the boys. Not too many physical ones, I hope. Well, it's not how you fall, it's how you rise. We only get one shot at life, eh? You know, and just whatever your goal may be, make sure you thrive towards to be, be the best that you can be. Ultimately, you need to do your own job and do your job well, you know, without looking at anyone else. And this thing up here, mental toughness. You know, if you ain't got that, you're wasting your time, you know? Being a fullback and, you know, working hard and doing quite a lot of running at the back, I guess you have to have that mental toughness of just to keep going and if that was one thing I'd take out of today with Shane would be uh, about mental toughness. Inside ball again to Stevenson, around he goes, Sean Stevenson, what a great start for the Mulus. The best goal is to pay for that big jersey for the All Blacks, so hopefully get to that one day, but leaning towards that under 20 World Cup in, in England next year and uh, getting a cap for, for the Chiefs, so yeah, that's what I'm leaning for at the moment.